السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللهم صل على سيدنا وحبيبنا ونبينا ومولانا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وبارك وسلم الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفر ونتوب اليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهد له فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما my dear respected brothers and sisters with the permission and dua of my father and our peer murshid janab sayyid badr e alam ahmed ali bukhari and with the blessings of all awliya's of khandan e bukhari especially hazrat muhammad sirajuddin shah e alam rahmatullah alai we will initiate small sessions of knowledge and tarbiyat May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us tawfiq to continue with this small effort inshallah Dear brothers and sisters we are now in the blessed month of Rabiul Awwal The 12th of this month is celebrated across the Muslim world as Mauludun Nabi that is the arrival of our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to this world The word Rabi in Arabic refers to season of spring. This season is indicative of a change in landscape when flowers bloom, when trees turn green, and when there is a general renewal of life. The coming of Aka alayhi salam represents change, a new beginning for the whole universe. His coming was like a light that lit up this universe when sayyida amina became pregnant with our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam she was told in a dream that she was pregnant with the master of this nation and that the sign of that would be that when she gives a birth to him she would witness a light coming out with him that would lit up the palaces of basra When she saw this light she should call him Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam When she gave birth to our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam she saw a light so bright that it lit up the skies from east to west This was later confirmed by our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself when he spoke about the light which his mother saw at his birth our prophet of noor prophet of light became the central figure in the life of every muslim he taught us how to eat drink speak walk and sleep he taught us how to pray to our lord and how to establish a spiritual link with him He taught us to respect each other how to interact with people and how to honor mankind He taught us how to respect our women our parents He taught us the meaning of love compassion mercy and respect With his coming he set an ethical standard never before witnessed by this world and never to be equaled by any person after him he became the guide leader inspiration and goal of every muslim his status is so celebrated in islam that the faith of a muslim is not complete until he loves the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam more than he loves his own self his children his parents and all of mankind his presence one no one in his presence no one was allowed to raise his voice 
above his voice. Otherwise, there's, their deeds would be omitted without their knowledge. Allah commands us not to address him in a way we would address each other. And this example was set by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself in the Holy Quran, where he does not call Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by his name and instead addresses him as O Prophet, O Messenger, as opposed to other prophets whom he addresses by their names. His status is further enhanced by the confirmation of Holy Quran, of his amazing morals and beautiful manners. His excellent behavior and beautiful personal features left no believer in doubt about his status and position as the Prophet of Allah and the best of creation. His personal interaction with people was instrumental in drawing them close to Islam. His compassion and care for his companions instilled in them a love so intense, so true and so sincere that he became their objective in this world and the hereafter. He became the all and everything for them. In the month of Rabi Lawal, we Muslims all over the world acknowledge the importance of the coming of our Prophet Wasallam by celebrating his birth, his life, his character and his personality. These celebrations take the form of praising his status in the form of Naat, the Salams, learning from his Seerah and feeding the poor. It is a time of giving thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the blessing this world with the presence of our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As Allah says in Surah Ali Imran, لَكَدَمَنَّ اللَّهُ إِلَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ إِذْ بَعَتَ فِيهِمْ رَسُولٌ مِّنْ أَنفُسِهِمْ That no doubt your Lord has done a favor upon the believers by sending Rasul in them from among them. The references of Mawlud al-Nabi have been acknowledged and referenced by many great scholars such as Imam Jalaluddin al-Sayyuti al-Rahmah, Imam al-Kastalani al-Rahmah, Hafiz ibn Hajar al-Skalani al-Rahmah, Imam Mullah Ali Kari, Imam ibn al-Jawzi, Imam Abu Shama, who is the Sheikh of Imam Nabavi. So dear brothers, the Prophet Wasallam was sent as a mercy and a blessing to this world. And his name, life and personality was honored by none other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So whomsoever honors the Prophet Wasallam and praises him only but follows the way shown by Allah. May Allah increase the spirit of our Iman and the love of our Prophet, our Aka salam. May Allah bestow his countless mercy upon us and help us increase our taqwa towards him. May Allah always bless us with the month of Rabi Lawal and gives us tawfiq to celebrate it in the best possible ways and may our generations to come follow this path ameen ya rabbil alamin aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah